Hey Zergy, it's alright, so this video is just gonna go over some basic writing structure elements to keep in mind for all of your documents this semester and of course just moving forward to be um yeah, stronger writers. So woman in the way again. Okay, so as far as purpose statements, these are so incredibly important. I will be looking specifically for your purpose statements and all your documents, uh, because they're that, you know, like the introduction to your document, rather it, even if it's an email, right? Maybe your first sentence can, can be something about the purpose, right? If it's a, a memo in the first sentence or two, have a purpose statement. If it's in your, you know, final report, absolutely on that first page somewhere, I want to see your purpose statement. Um, there's really important because they are these declarative sentences and it basically you know, declares it, it tells the reader what the report or the document or the email is about. So it summarizes the specific topics and the goals. Um, and a strong purpose statement is also going to provide one of those, you know, concrete overviews about what it's about and what I'm going to gain from reading it. Because remember, technical writing, it has a, a key purpose. Your audience is coming to you to get specific information. So make sure that they know the purpose of why they're reading this thing. Because in the business world, time is money. Nobody wants to read what you write when it's technical. So make it as easy on them as possible and just tell them like, here is what is in this document and why you are reading it. So for writing good purpose statements, um, be specific and precise, right? So you don't want to be just really like vague and general, like whatever your document really is about and that key thing, like tell us the key thing. This isn't the time to be overly flowery. It's not the time to be, you know, really vague, just like, tell me what your document is all about specifically. Um, also make it concise, right? This isn't a purpose paragraph, right? It will follow with the roadmap for the document, but the purpose statement really should be one to two sentences, nice and quick, and make it really goal oriented as well. Um, particularly in technical writing, we have that opportunity for you know, desired outcomes and, and to say that like that. So really you can think about um, the purpose statement as uh, you know, something that if your you know your boss whoever asked you, hey, what is this document you just handed me? You can literally just say your purpose statement and they will know what's up. So think about it like that. Um, when it comes to phrasing your purpose statement, again, technical writing, right? We're not poets over here. We don't get the luxury of like writing beautiful, you know, creative prose. Um, technical writing is just, you need to get the information across, which sometimes why people think of it is a little bit dry, but in some ways, you know, it's a little bit easier to do technical writing because you just need to tell your reader what you need to tell them. So it's totally acceptable to say the purpose of this, whatever your report is, recommendation report, this white paper will discuss the purpose of the feasibility report is to be analyzed, right? So the biggest things are identify it clearly as a purpose statement and then uh, anchor it in some really strong verbs. Like in some of my favorite verbs that I use in purpose statements often, I like to say that I explore, um, I trace, I establish, discuss, um, examine, you know, all of those types of language that are really like that kind of research centered um, can be really helpful. Um, if it's something like an email, maybe the purpose is more, you know, I'm writing to express XYZ about my satisfaction on the project. Or, you know, this email outlines the next action items before the meeting, right? So just use a strong verb in there to tell the reader what the whole point is. So here's a few examples, um, just kind of generally, right? So. Uh, this uh, came from someone in the department. Um, they did their dissertation on, and so when you ask, oh, hey, Dr. Johnson, what was your dissertation on? Well, the purpose of the study was to explore how and why women use Pinterest as a wedding planning tool. Like, oh, well, now I know exactly what she was doing, right? And we know it's focused on women. She was asking how and why, we know it's on Pinterest, and we know what they were doing on Pinterest. So nice, concrete, specific. 
right? You might also see something like, you know, I trace how economic policies from the 1980s inform voting and uh, inform. All right, so here's just a few examples of purpose statements. Um, this one was from Dr. Johnson um, from the department, right? And so if you asked her, hey, what was your dissertation about? Well, this was the purpose statement from it, right? The purpose of the study was to explore how and why women use Pinterest as a wedding planning tool, right? We know exactly what she was doing. She was exploring this platform and then the specific function of the platform for this specific demographic. So you have all the key uh, variables and qualities from the paper and you, you know what this whole dissertation was gonna be about. Other examples might say, I trace, things like trace are really good if you are looking over like historical context or seeing changes in something like a market or um, the environment or some organization. Maybe you trace how economic policies from the 80s, now you know this is where my paper is going to start is in the 80s. They don't ex read this paper expecting to read about things from the 40s or things from, you know, future cast. Like, no, I'm starting at the 80s and that's decade in particular, and form voting preferences. Okay, so now we know we're gonna connect policies to voters among generations X and Y, millennials today. So again, similar, if this was the report, we know what you're looking at, economic policies. We know the decade you're focusing on, and we know that you're gonna focus on how that decade informs, right, current um, consumers and voting preferences. Right? So again, just be concrete, be specific, treat uh, the purpose statement as that single sort of sentence you could just share with somebody, um, you know, at the office party. And they're like, hey, what project have you been working on lately? Oh, I have been tracing how economic policies, blah, 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 right? Uh, so the, the next really big thing that uh, can, can, turn, can make or break a document really is a conclusion. So always have a conclusion. If you just leave your documents hanging, I am gonna be very, very sad and unhappy and a little bit confused because conclusions are really important. So the con conclusion wraps your paper up, right? It ties everything back together. Some important part about conclusions and technical writing is that they're restating the central points because our readers probably skimmed and skipped a large portion of the body of it. So if nothing else, right, they need to read that last paragraph. Um, and so make sure that you're giving them the information you really wanted them to have. Um, and then lastly, it might include, you know, a nice call for action, particularly with technical writing, you're probably gonna have call for actions and future research directions. So in email, I'll probably be, you know, thanks and I look forward to this meeting with you, right? Um, for something like a larger project, maybe say, okay, after learning all of this, here are the next steps we need to take as a company, right? So just kind of wrap it up, look forward. Uh, and really the, the most basic formula and thing when it comes to technical writing, okay, we're in this genre of technical writing. I review that first um, video about some of the differences because it obviously changes when you're in other genres. But for technical writing, we need to tell them what you're gonna tell them. That's the point of the introduction and the purpose statement. You tell them, right, that's the body. That's where you give the information, the data, the support, the whatever the point of your document was. And then you tell them what you've told them, which is the conclusion, basically your review. So. You know, it, it technical writing. Just tell them what you're gonna tell them, tell them, and then tell them what you told them. So that way there's no confusion, they know the information, they have everything they need, and they don't have to go searching around. So uh, those are just a few kind of um, big picture things to keep in mind for all of your technical documents this semester. All right, bye.